So all that all, all of this that we've been looking at today are you know variations of what we've been talking about. Um, and so we've gone to this point where we've created an app. It's on an app store. Uh, so the other aspect about doing all of this, we've been focusing on the code and such. But remember we had that aspect where we focused on some graphics. We need to focus on graphics to some degree as well. Uh, so the other aspect that we need to focus on, we've made, let's say we spent all of this time and we learned all of these things and really went farther above and beyond this class. You've got a great app, but no one's downloading it. No one knows about it. You're not getting any downloads, you're not getting any sales, you're in obscurity. So we need to talk a little bit about the marketing aspect of things, promoting your app and such. I'm going to touch on, for a little bit, one aspect of marketing. Uh, but this is a larger topic to take some of for some of my other classes because the main cl the class that I teach uh, is this Android sequence. But I also teach a whole other world of classes uh, about web marketing, about making a website, about doing blogging, about social media. Uh, those kinds of classes could apply to some degree to this class, but they're they're very separate. So what I'm going to start to talk about is a little bit of web marketing. Yes. I just want to say anything you can learn from anybody, even if you know everything about social media, it's still good to take the class because you're going to learn something new. Mm -hmm. And if you learn how to put the string things together, it just makes it even more powerful. Thank you for that. And can you confirm that I did not pay you to say that? I did not pay you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, uh, the more you learn, the, the more stronger you are. So even if you've got some experience in some things, sometimes people come to this Android class and they took the other Android class, because there's another Android class at this campus, although I believe that one only focuses on Android Studio. So hopefully people that come, come from that class still learn something here, because I'm trying to teach this very cross-platform, whereas the other class, to my knowledge, only focuses on Android. Um, ours is more cross-platform. So here what I'm going to talk about are some aspects of marketing and social media. Again, I teach in more detail in other classes what I'm going to show you here. This will be an overview in the time that we have here. I want to market my app. I want more people to know about it and you know, to download it and such. And one of the ways to do it is via social media. So we're going to have a quick crash course in social media. Now, uh, what, is, um, what is one social media network site that you might have heard of? Okay. Facebook. Okay. What's another one? Okay. LinkedIn. Good. What's another one? MySpace. MySpace. Great. <laughs> What's another one? There's lots of social networks out there. I want to focus on one. I want to focus on one that is very integrated with what we've been learning in that we've been learning Android, which comes from Google. And Google has their own social network. Now, Facebook is the largest one. They just had their recent uh, earnings call. They recently uh, in, uh, revealed their latest financial numbers and such. And, and Facebook at the moment is at about 1.6 billion users. Globally, there's like 6 billion people in the world, 7 billion or so. So 1.6 billion people in the world use Facebook. Full disclosure, personally, I hate Facebook. I don't like it. I don't use it. I never log in. But I think it's great as a marketing tool for businesses. That's its problem as a user. But as a marketing tool, I think it's great. In my social media classes, I go into detail about Facebook. But what I'm going to go into detail right now is about Google+, Plus, because this is Google's social network. Therefore, it's tied very closely to Google Search. It's tied into the Google Play Store, App Store. It's tied into Google YouTube. It's tied into Google Mail, Gmail. It's tied into all of these things together. It's part of the ecosystem. So we're going to talk about Google Plus as a marketing tool to get more people to know about your app and to download it and review it and that sort of thing, to get some fame and start making the start making start getting rich off your app, 99 cents at a time. So go ahead and go and open up Google Chrome. You know, it's the whole ecosystem. Or any browser, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to open Chrome. And Ripple decides to work now. But go to plus.google.com Alright, so again, this is going to be our crash course. In the social media class, I spend two months on focus, focusing on 
seven different social networks. And on one of the days we talk in depth about Google+. And the purpose of any social network for you as an Android developer, you as some sort of online entity, is to get a captive audience. That's the purpose also of marketing. Old school marketing is the classic radio ad, TV ad, newspaper ad, someone standing on the corner flipping that sign. All of that is marketing. It's advertising. You could be very cynical and say all form of advertising and marketing, its purpose is to make you feel bad. Because think about all of these products that you see, and all of them are trying to make you feel bad in some way so that you buy their product and improve yourself. You are hungry, so buy this hamburger. You smell bad, so buy the shampoo. You don't get dates, so buy this, buy that. All of this advertising to some degree is to convince you something's wrong, but we've got the answer. That's of course the most reductive, uh, cynical way to say it. A positive way of course to say it is we're trying to build awareness of something. We've got an app, we need to build awareness for it. We've got this great app about these classes, or if you make an app going forward past what we've done here, you've got an app that you need to make people aware of. Therefore, you need to get, engage in marketing, also known as advertising, and in the modern version of it, social media. So social media could have the bad rap of, that's the place where people share those cat videos, and that's the place where the teenagers waste all their time, and that's the place where this and that and problems. And yes, there are those two sides of social media, those two sides of the coin of social media, and they're both valid. There is the personal, frivolous side of social media, and there is the professional business side of social media. They're both valuable. They're both valid. For us, in this class and my other marketing classes, we talk about the business side of social media, the professional side of it. So Google+, Plus, then we will use to reach people, to reach an audience, to let them know our app exists. Check it out, download it, review it. For free. That's the biggest thing also about social media. The marketing in the classic sense of putting that radio ad out there or putting the billboard out there or having that guy stand with that sign out there, all of that costs money. That person flipping that sign is not doing it for free. Hate to, hate to shock you about that, but they're not doing it for free all marketing in the real world, it's not free. Social media has an aspect that you can pay for, but you can get pretty far without it. So I'm on plus.google.com. I'm scrolling down a bit. I'm seeing all of these little boxes. These are known as collections, Google Plus collections. They're topics, animals, Tokyo street fashion, Catalan art and culture, Tokyo Night Photography, Moon and Stars. Well, these are collections of content from Valeria Bresson, Brent M., The Healthy House, Arcana's Kitchen, people or businesses putting out content on Google+. And what we look at here, to, to a large degree, also applies directly over on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. Whatever you learn on one social network, you can apply it with some variation to all the social networks. But all of these social networks for a business are about building awareness, putting your app out there, chatting with people about it, making people aware. That's what these companies, big companies, are doing. Think about how McDonald's uses social media. Think about how Nike uses social media. Think about how this college uses social media to reach an audience, to build awareness, to get people to enroll in classes, to get people to buy that shoe, to get people to download this app. It's marketing. It's just in the new, in the new way, online. So we'll see that we can create content on Google Plus to find them. And there are hundreds of millions, by one measurement, 300 million users on Google+. Plus. Uh, the numbers, the exact number of users on Google+, Plus is a bit sketchy because Google doesn't release numbers of exactly Google+, Plus users. It also mixes it in with users of YouTube and Gmail. So 
Google claims that there are about like 900 million users of Google Plus. But that <coughs> the number's smaller, it's still in around 300 million, and that's still quarter of a, a quarter of a billion people using Google Plus at least. So a lot of people to reach. And it's free. Uh, there's no advertising on Google Plus, there's no obtrusive pop-ups. Um, Google makes their money off of elsewhere. And so, for example, here, if I were to click on ser search at the top and say something like Android apps, if I just search and, and then just press enter, don't ignore what pops up there, and I'm going to search Android apps. I'm going to see collections, communities, people and pages, and posts. Collections are what we saw a moment ago. It is one particular person that has created a sort of like a folder, a folder full of a particular topic. So Derek created the Android mobile devices and apps collection, and a person can choose to follow that. Paolo created space apps for Android. People can follow that. The point of the follow on social media is that captive audience. It makes me feel good that there that I've got 20 followers on Google Plus or 200 followers. It makes me feel even better when I've got 2,000 followers on Google Plus or Twitter or Facebook, whatever. But not because of my ego, because that's a captive audience. That is potentially 2,000 people that really care about my message. Really <laughs> care that every time I share something on Google Plus, they would see it. And so when I talk about it in my other classes, I always talk about this fictional company, Victor's Bakery. I've got Victor's Bakery, I'm going to sell cupcakes, I'm going to use Google Plus to do that. So I'm going to start to build followers. I get 20 followers on Google Plus. In theory, that could be 20 sales, 20 customers, in theory. In actual practice, it might be two sales out of 20, one sale out of 20. That's why I want to get more followers, as many as possible. Because if I've got a thousand followers, then possibly 20 sales out of that, 50 sales, maybe a hundred, I don't know, until you try it, until you try to build those followers, that captive audience. Google has also the aspect of communities, which I think are much better than collections, because communities are like the classic message boards, the BBSs and the forums where I can join a community on Google+, and everyone re regarding a certain topic is communing around that topic. If I join Google+, Plus right now, I have zero followers. But if I join the Android development community, now I'm a part of 247,000 other Google+, Plus users. And if I share to that community, potentially 247,000 people see it. A quarter of a million. Whereas if I simply share to my home page, no one will see it. I have no followers. Question? How come there are three Androids at the same name? Just, no. just like anyone can create a classic BBS or forum, anyone can create a community. So more than one person has created a community. So these three have the same name because John created this one and Janet created this one and Microsoft created this one. Anyone can create a community. So how do I know which one I am creating? You want them all. You want to join no, them all. No, the last three. How do I distinguish the three? Well, that picture is different, and that picture is different, and that picture is different. They're all different, and it's also different members. Mm -hmm. This one has this group of people. That one has that group of people. But they won't get confused sometimes. Yeah, uh, the, the confusion will happen that when you log in, you're going to see posts like this and a bunch of them, and you're, gonna, you're not going to maybe see where they're coming from. But it'll tell you right here, it'll tell you that post is from this community. And yes, they're all named Android, so yes, it is going to be confusing. But the point is that I want to tap into the place where everyone is at. So communities, you can join communities. Some of them say ask to join. That means that you're going to click and someone is going to check you out. They're going to go to your Google Plus profile and check on you. Why would we let this person into our community? So this is going to be, like again, like a classic forum, like a classic BBS, like a classic discussion board. There are going to be moderators. These communities are not created by Google. They're not created or endorsed by Google. 
they are created by regular people, regular users of Google+. I can go in and create a brand new community called Victor's Bakery. The problem is I'm not going to get anyone to join it. So... I'll join. Great. <laughs> Tell your friends. So really what I want to do is join communities that already exist, especially those with lots of users. Because again, when I create, when we log in in a moment, I'm going to have zero followers. My company is going to have zero followers. No one's going to know or, or pay attention to what I'm doing in Google+. If I join a community and I post to this Android community, I've reached 1.8 million members in a snap. Um, so that's why I think this is much more valuable than the than the collection. You know, um, let me. Sorry about this, but let me let me.